from under here, no matter what. Wait, sister. Hey, Lacus. Headquarters is checking in. They want an update. Mm -hmm. Now of all times, it figures. It's always when I'm in the middle of eating. No, this can't be happening. So, here we are, Yuichi. Reliving your most traumatic memory in detail right down to the blood splatters on the floor. Huh? Tomoe! You're alive! Because of you, she's dead now. Is that you, brother? I'm sorry, Mirai. I didn't mean to wake you up. You didn't. How are you feeling? Not too bad. I think it's gonna be a good day for us. I do too. I bet you're hungry. How about I scrounge up something for you to eat, okay? Brother, why don't you leave me here to fend for myself so you can move on with your life? Don't start with this. Taking care of you is my duty. But if things don't change, you'll end up dead too. No buts, Mirai. I'm gonna make sure we both survive. You don't mean that. Not really. But now I hear you cry about how much you want to leave. You've grown to hate me. You wish I'd just die already. <laughs> Why? Why would you say that? Because despite how noble you try to be, deep down you're a selfish human who only thinks of himself. Isn't that right, Chihaka Mizuki? Now I get it. You're the demon. Bingo. But I was right about your thoughts, wasn't I? I've seen every shameful thing that's floated through your little brain. I wonder what your sister would say if she knew the truth. Shut the hell up! Interesting. At least one of them appears to be putting up a fight. did run off and leave us to die with the vampires. It's not a good idea to imitate people I care about. Well then, I thought I'd be able to shake you up by touching on a sore spot. But you don't appear the least bit rattled. Now I wonder, why is that? You're not the first demon who's tried to mess with my head. So just cut, cut the crap and hand over your power already. <laughs> You talk big, but I'm not giving up until I've got a contract with you. If you've got so much strength, then prove it to me. Hmm. You've taken up my blade in search of a demon's mind. The question is why. I want revenge! Because you've lost someone important to you? That's right. I lost the only family I ever had. That must have been difficult. Very well, then. I can see the desire for revenge burning inside you. I can offer you unlimited power to achieve it. Yes. But it's not quite that simple. Sorry, you. <laughs> to get our strength, you'll have to give yourself over and succumb to your desire for vengeance. You are just the murder friend is right. I have to possess you to give you the kind of power you want. <laughs> no, wait! <laughs> you. You're not 
gonna run off and ditch us again, are you? You can't just abandon your family. Brother, you would never do something so dumb. Now that we're reunited, say you'll live here with us forever. You'll stay with us. We miss you. Ah, <laughs> oh, there it is. Your weakness. You have love in your heart, and that's what's holding you back. We worship desire. We can't stand love. Yoichi, Kimizuki, Shinoa, your new friends. Forget about them. You can't become a champion of revenge if you're worried about others. But, my friends, don't you think it's unfair that we're dead and you're making a new family? You left us behind and now you've moved on. Going to school, training, and making new friends. You've almost managed to completely forget about us, haven't you? I have not! I've never forgotten! Then forget your new friends and stay with us. Remember, we're the only family you've ever had. Shut your mouth! It's the only way you'll get the strength to avenge us. Stop it! You're gonna submit yourself to revenge now. Go to hell! Stop trying to confuse me, you bastard! I don't just need your strength to get revenge. There's more to it. My aim is bigger. I want enough power to protect everything and everyone! This is the trouble with humans. Your emotions are too complicated. Love for your friends and fear for their safety compete against your desire for revenge. I like you. Your spirit is strong. I'll agree to follow you as long as it stays that way. But if I detect weakness in your heart for even a moment, I'll take over your body and soul. Alright, I guess that's fair. My name is Ashura Mar. If you need power, all you have to do is call for me. Ashura Mar? Oh, since you're going to be my master, let me give you some insider information as a gift. Information? There's something odd about your composition. You appear to be human, but about 10% of you is something different. Could the humans be doing strange experiments on you or something? Huh? What are you talking about? You shouldn't trust your own kind. Believe me when I tell you mankind is more devious than vampires and demons combined. No, it does feel a little weird saying all three human. Wait, explain yourself. What are you suggesting? Very well. The contract is now complete. From this day forward, I shall lend you my strength and abilities. Open your eyes, fan the flames of desire that burn inside of you, and forge a bloodstained path in this world. You reach your own yuck, yuck, yuck. <laughs> You're awake. How you feeling? You? I'm okay. I beat the demon. I wouldn't get too cocky. You took your sweet time subjugating the damn thing. You got a cursed gear too? Of course I did. <laughs> and Yoichi? So then, who are you? Hmm? You're the one who called me, Yoichi. If you want to avenge your sister's death, you need a strong set of cursed gear to wield. Oh, that's right. I picked up a weapon and was going, going to, to make a contract with... I see. That's what you are, a demon. That's right. <laughs> it's pretty mean you chose to look like this. Just wait until you see my true form. <laughs> yeah, I bet it's pretty nasty. So, it seems we have a bit of a problem. Huh? I've poured over your heart and soul. You, you want to strike back at those who hurt you, but that desire is too weak. Your soul is gentle and kind. You have great love for others. These are all qualities that I despise. Wait, maybe you should look deeper, because I do want to avenge my sister. You lie. In fact, the strongest feeling you have is a relief that you survived the attack. No, that's not true. Not to mention, you'd make a terrible fighter. You're afraid of conflict, and the thought of your friends and family getting hurt. You're weak, 
You don't have the courage to take a life. How are you supposed to get revenge if you aren't capable of killing? What I really mean is you're a coward. Just a child without a backbone. A weakling. But there is one way you can bring hell upon those who murdered your sister. Give me your body. Forever! <laughs> You don't even have the guts to fight for your life. You wouldn't make a suitable master. You're the most pathetic human being I've ever met. <laughs> oh, man. This is not good. Looks like Yoichi didn't have the strength to overcome possession. But I guess having two out of three students pass the Black Demon tryout isn't that bad at all. Huh? Hey, wait, where'd he go? One, two, three, four little humans all for me. Damn it, but they've each got curse gears too. Power-hungry humans are such a pain in the ass. My bone. All right, now that you two have both got your cursed gear, it's time for your first mission. There's a human-eating demon loose somewhere in this room. You, Kamizuki. It's up to you guys to deal with it. Show that bastard who's in control. They'll be my appetizers. And the real feast will begin. <laughs> Yoichi! Great. Looks like this demon is coming at us with full force. Yoichi must have just been a snack to whet its appetite. Lieutenant Colonel, hmm. may I share my opinion? Please don't. Quiet. The situation's getting out of control. Hey, Corin! How are we supposed to deal with this? <laughs> Yoichi is still one of us! Look at him! Your classmate's body is just a vessel now. The only way to save Yoichi is to destroy it. What the hell, man? There's no way I'm gonna kill one of my friends! Don't you get soft on me! This is the Moon Demon Company! Extermination is your job! Who are you guys all talking just here to play around with cursed gear? If you want to get killed, that's on you! But that monster's not your friend anymore! Damn it! <clears throat> if you're serious about using those weapons, then show me you've got what it takes to be a soldier! Damn it, Yoichi! Sorry, but... You're going down! What the hell was that? You! But you want to go, you monster! It's one of us! Idiot! Don't let up! The demon's not inside the weapon anymore, it's in his body! Don't do it! We can still save him! Interesting! You won't touch me because of the body I'm in! Yoichi! I know you're in there! Don't let this stupid demon get the best of you! Snap out of it! We're supposed to kill vampires together, remember? <laughs> Lieutenant Colonel! These boys are going to get themselves killed! They're not ready for this! Please don't make them kill Yoichi, he's their friend! Aw, oh, you always act like you're so cool. You've got a soft spot for these two problem students. You've gotten attached, haven't you? Lieutenant Colonel! Why don't you step in and kill him, then? That'll save the others from being racked with guilt. Oh, I see. You've got no intention of getting your hands dirty, either. Let me guess, you're just too cute for this as well. Doichi! Get yourself together! 
You're strong enough to beat this thing! It's too late. Now die. Do it. I won't kill a comrade, but I won't abandon one either. If Yoichi's still alive in there, then you won't be able to shoot me. <laughs> you and I are alike in that way. When you've watched your family die in front of you, there's no way that you could ever kill a friend! <laughs> are you crazy? <laughs> You'll have to come back or shoot me! Snap out of it, Yoichi! Yoichi! Are you gonna stay under that bed and watch your sister be killed or take charge and stop it? This is your last chance to take control. Yoichi, listen. No matter what happens, don't come out from under here. to protect those I care about. I want to be able to keep them safe from harm. Only then can I make sure nothing like this ever happens again. Give me that power, you demon! Good job. I shot at you. <laughs> hmm. it took way too long to get back. What the hell? But why would you kick me for that, Corin? Yeah. Are you okay? Did you know that it would end this way, Lieutenant Colonel? What's that? Hell no. I don't really give a damn if one of these kids ends up biting it. You say that, but you looked like you were really starting to sweat there towards the end of it. Hmm. You have a rare gift. The guilt you felt for not helping your sister was preventing you from living your life. But I think today you overcame that. Maybe now you'll be able to reach your full potential. You have a new reason to live. From now on, your job is to protect the people who saved your life today. Forget revenge. Don't get hung up on something so pointless. Same goes for you, idiot. Forget about your previous friends and loved ones. Huh? Tell me The Moon Demon Company is the only family you'll have now. You're gonna put us first even before your own life. Got it? The past means nothing. It's the future that matters. Stupid Gorin. <laughs> okay, well, you've all got cursed gear, and you almost work like a team today. I suppose we should test you out on the front lines to see what you're really made of. Seriously? That's right. We've got intel that suggests vampires from the Kanzai region are planning on reclaiming Shinjuku. It's our job to investigate the area. We're finally gonna get to hunt vampires! Um, shouldn't we have some so more what? training first? We don't even get a break after all this? <laughs> <sighs> I think these lazy kids are gonna be the death of me. We'll be arriving in Tokyo shortly. We expect attacks from the Japanese Imperial Demon Army near Ikebukuro, Shinjuku, and Shibuya. Please Did you hear that? Well, Mika? We're going to Shinjuku first. <laughs> 